is now a good time to buy in Jacksonville? Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel where we explore everything you need to know about relocating to Jacksonville and the Northeast Florida area. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss out on the latest updates about life in Florida. I'm Andrea, and today we're tackling a big question on a lot of people's minds. Is now a good time to buy in Jacksonville, Florida? That's exactly what we're talking about in today's video. Stay tuned. As we head toward the end of the year, many of you might be wondering if it's the right time to make your move or if you should wait until 2025. Whether you're looking to upsize, downsize, or just relocate for a change of scenery, timing is everything. So let's break it down and weigh the pros and cons of buying before the end of 2024 versus waiting until next year. Let's start with why buying before the end of 2024 might be a smart move for you. Number one, there's more inventory on the market. Right now we're seeing more homes on the market, especially as we approach the end of the year. Many sellers in our area are motivated to close before the holidays or before the new year. And that's good news for buyers because it means more options to choose from. As of the recording of this video, there are just over 13,000 single family homes currently on the market in the Northeast Florida region. That's more than double what we were seeing just two years ago. Number two, price reductions. As inventory grows, sellers are becoming more flexible. We're already seeing approximately 40% of homes that are being listed doing price reductions across Jacksonville and Northeast Florida. If you've been waiting for the right deal, this might be your window of opportunity to snag a home at a price you didn't expect earlier in the year. Number three, less competition from buyers. So typically the end of the year means fewer buyers actively searching. Many people put off their moves until after the holidays. So with fewer people in the market, you won't face as much competition um, as we will surely see coming up next spring. That makes negotiating easier and getting a great price and terms, but also allowing you to close before the end of the year, uh, which here in Florida allows you to take full advantage of the homestead exemption for 2025, uh, saving you thousands on your property taxes. Number four, interest rate incentives. Both builders and individual sellers are offering year-end incentives like interest rate buy-downs and closing cost assistance to help close more deals before the year ends. Builders in our area are advertising rates as low as 4.99% on certain completed inventory homes that they wanna get off their books. It may be worth checking to see if you can take advantage of any special offers right now. Now, let's look at why some people might wanna wait until 2025 to buy. Number one, potential for stabilized home prices. While prices have softened toward the end of 2024, there's a chance that home values could stabilize or even drop further in early 2025, especially if interest rates remain high or the market adjusts to new economic conditions. However, keep in mind Florida in general, and especially Northeast Florida, still remains one of the strongest markets in the country. Uh, with approximately 100, per, uh, 100 people per day moving to the Jacksonville area, the demand for housing will likely remain steady. So a further decline in prices may be minimal. Number two, more clarity on market trends. Waiting until next year uh, gets us past the presidential election and gives you a bit more clarity on what direction the real estate market is headed. By then, we'll have a better idea of how the broader economy is performing and what impact that might have on home prices. Number three, less financial pressure. 
If you're feeling financially stretched with holiday expenses, or you need more time to save for a down payment, waiting until the new year gives you a chance to enter the market with less stress and more stability. Number four, new listings in the spring. Historically, we see a surge in new listings coming on the market in the springtime. If you're waiting for that perfect home to hit the market, waiting until early 2025 might give you a wider selection, especially as people start fresh in the new year and list their homes. So should you buy now or wait until next year? It really comes down to your personal situation and what you're looking for. If you're ready to buy now and want to take advantage of increased inventory, price reductions, and less competition, 2024 might be the best time for you to jump in. But if you're in no rush and want to wait for more clarity or save a bit more money, 2025 could bring more options to the market, along with possible shifts in pricing trends and a little bit lower interest rates. Ultimately, the decision to buy a home is a deeply personal one. If you've been thinking about making a move to Jacksonville or Northeast Florida, it's important to weigh the pros and cons for your own situation. Timing the market is tough, but taking action when it feels right for you and your family is what matters the most. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the Jacksonville real estate market, or if you're considering making a move and want some personalized advice, feel free to reach out. I'd love to help you find your perfect home here in Northeast Florida. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you next time.